Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to some raft. Um, I am uh, I'm excited to do a little bit more work on our raft today. Um, I've been uh, definitely going through and thinking through a few more plans on raft layout. Um, but I, I wanted to go ahead and jump on and get us started here real quick because I think that we may have come across one of the more rare little islands. Um, I saw this flag sticking out here and, uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned this before, like way early on in the series. Um, while the islands that we come across are kind of randomly spawned in, um, the islands aren't randomly generated and there are a couple of them that are very rare to find. Um, and you actually can get some achievements, um, and I don't know if we have found, uh, many or any, uh, of, of some of these rare islands. And so, seeing that flag up there, uh, I, um, I, I was intrigued. So, we're gonna go check that out re real quick, um, before we really get too far in. Uh, into today's episode. So <laughs> I'm also laughing. We've still got our old, uh, our old bed just chilling out there. And we don't need it anymore because we've got this lovely thing that we can't still fall asleep in during the daytime. So um, let's grab uh, our materials that we will need for our little adventure, uh, our excursion onto land. Um, and, uh, then we can sleep through the night real quick and be ready to go once we have some daylight. Um, so luckily I do at least have some cooked salmon that we can use for food. I might just go ahead and eat through one of those and we'll bring the other on board. Um, we'll bring a short with us. Um, as you can see, I actually have a good amount of planks at the moment. Um, so we'll just have to throw our spare in our scrap bin. Um, oh, I actually do have a few drumsticks. We'll put our, uh, our little almost cot away now that we have a proper bed. And, uh, tools. Let's get all that swapped out. Uh, we don't need our hammer. Uh, we'll take our metal detector. Um, I guess we still need a new shovel. And we'll probably need to make ourselves a new scrap hook. Um, but otherwise, we are in decent shape. Uh, so let's see, what tools did I just say that we needed? We need a new shovel. Um, so we need six there. And we're probably going to need an additional scrap hook, which is another four. Um, so there's a couple of rope. No more ropes, that's just bolt and metal. Um, scrap and bolt. So bolt, bolt. Alright, scrap hook. Shovel. Back up, we can chop trees, we can deal with the shark, we can make sure we can mine the reef. Um, alright, all that's looking pretty good to me. Let's go sleep through the night. I might chug some of this water real quick. We're just gonna drink it all, and that way we can just totally cycle all that out. Um, very good, and uh, yeah, let's get this going. Close that door, but all right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I might go ahead and just top off a little bit with some uh, some chicken here. Um, we really need to deal with our our catch nets sometime soon. Those are most definitely getting full. Uh, but this little island is kind of nifty. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's anything special. There's at least a little spot with some dirt and cave mushrooms. 
That's different. Um, oh, there's a boat. A little shipwreck here. Um, ooh, I wonder if there's, oh, there is something in the boat. We'll figure out how to get down there. Um, here in just a second, but let's get the, uh, the top of this all figured out. Oh, we got another radio this time for free. Very nice. Um, I don't know that I will end up using it. Uh, just because, again, it messes with our normal, um, audio, but here we go. We've got a captain's hat. How appropriate now that we finally have, uh, as you guys were kind of mentioning, some, some proper captain's quarters after last episode. And now, now we've got a, uh, a captain's hat. Let me see if I can, there we go. Now we look, uh, very official. How about that? So, uh, very, very cool. Let's see if we can, um, figure out, is this an actual functioning trapdoor? No. Um, all right. How do we get in here? There we go. Let's grab, grab the loot. And I still got to worry about good old shark. Um... Nice. Well, I would not be shocked if there's maybe still some other special goodies here, given that we have, like, the little kind of makeshift stairway here to get up to the flag. Um, is there anything fun at the help flag? Um, doesn't really look like it. Maybe that's just showing how the, uh, the previous boater got up here, but nice. Uh, that is pretty nifty. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, just get the, um, rest of this place all farmed up. I think we will try to grab flowers and stuff here, um, because possibly one thing we might do, um, if not today, uh, we will be doing it soon, uh, is that we are going to try to work on uh, getting a paint mill uh, made and start making paint. Um, and I've got some ideas on what we might be doing. Uh, specifically as far as painting our raft um, but it's gonna require us definitely using a lot of flowers uh, to make that paint um, so um, I've never actually done the painting like in proper survival um, I've uh, I've messed with it kind of in like a creative mode on raft just to like play around and see um, what it would be like uh, to, to paint some things. Uh, oh, and our inventory is full. Let's go ahead and take a, a run back to the raft real quick and then we'll finish this up. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've done it kind of in a, in a creative mode raft uh, just to see what the painting would be like. Um, but uh, nothing more than that. So I don't know exactly how kind of all the like costs and such uh, will work, um, as far as grinding the, the proper flowers up, um, into, uh, the, uh, into the actual paint, um, but, you know, we will, uh, we'll figure it out together. Um, I do think, though, that it would be a, a nice little addition. Um, uh, let's see, we've got... Dirt. We've got plastic, but we're all full on that. Maybe I'll throw it in here for now. And I guess same with the leaves. Maybe I need to designate an overflow chest. Um, I didn't have a chance, uh, like I had I'd said that I might get around to doing. Um, I did not have a chance to start rearranging anything on the raft. Uh, most of my time that I spent kind of between our episodes, um, I was actually, speaking of creative mode, uh, I was messing around with a couple things in creative mode just to kind of, um, 
see what some next steps might be uh, in our in our builds, in our designs. Um, and so it's like I, I did play quite a bit since since our last episode, but not much actually on this save. Um, so we will uh, we'll we'll get to that here in a bit, but we'll we'll finish kind of going through this island. Um, get that done first. Some of those cooked fishies away. Um, all that food, mushroom, and we're getting there. Who are you? Our unnamed llama. You are not. Well, when we find it, we do. Ah, there it is. We'll go ahead and do that now. Um, our suggestion, and we have had this suggestion one other time, and so I think it is very fitting. Um, we get kind of another uh, punny animal name, so we are going to have. Uh, instead of, you know, the Dalai Lama, we are going to have Dolly the Lama. Um, and I think that is a very good name. Um, you know, even regardless of kind of having a punny animal name, I think that Dolly is just a very good name for a llama. So there we go. Uh, we have another animal name down. Thank you all once again for your name suggestions. Um, and uh, here, let me see if I can uh, really quickly pull up who who sent that in, because I do, I do appreciate, um, or I do like to try to throw out who, um, who gave us our, our name suggestions as an extra thank you. So I think, uh, also to throw out last time, who got our, uh, our Patches Goat name, Goat name, blah, blah, blah. got Patches on the brain as I'm looking at it. Um, where, where was Patches? We just saw Patches. Patches was like, oh, it was, uh, in the kitchen, I think. Um, are you, you're Patches, right? Yeah, you're Patches. Um, so Patches last time, I didn't have it pulled up, um, was suggested by uh, Wesley Philippow 9135 So thank you very much, Wesley. Um, and uh, we've also got this time, uh, thank you very much to... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh no, where'd the comment go? Here we it is. Um, and this time, uh, thank you very much for our uh, our llama su name suggestion. Uh, not not for Cusco, for Dolly, um, for um, from Cheryl uh, Bronham. Uh, again, sorry if I'm uh, butchering anybody's names, but again, I at least want to do give somewhat of a shout out, even if I mispronounce you guys. Um, I really appreciate the uh, the comments and you guys support for watching. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, Let's, uh, you know, ditch these last couple seeds in my inventory and these feathers and let's try to get a bit more, uh, harvesting done before the sun goes down. Um, I think we dropped a few red flower seeds and such. Yeah, red. Oh, they literally just despawned before my very eyes. I was too slow. Um, that is okay. Was there anything else that we left on this island? Um, I think that might be all of the above ground stuff. Um, so it may be time to head below the surface. Uh, maybe we'll go grab some of this like shallow scrap that I did notice like right here and we'll see if, um, Ah, that's why I haven't seen the shark bothering me, is that we actually have some poison puffers here. Oh, its noises are so sad. I don't know that I've ever really heard those before. Um, well, anyway, it, getting more explosive goo is, is a good thing. Um, my goodness, there is a lot of rock at at this little, uh, at this place. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. Trying to just shoot the scrap out of the, uh, out of the seafloor. That is not going to be quite a winning strategy. Um, let's see. It is definitely getting dark. Oh, uh, we did not use our 
metal detector. And usually these islands have at least something to dig up. All right, we're struggling to get closer though. Is it like literally on one of these rocks? I'm confused. Uh, no, maybe it is just on this part of the island. Yeah, that, that makes a lot more sense. Um. Oh, goodness. That is an odd place for some buried treasure. But you know what? I'll take it. Well, we'll grab that and uh, go sleep through the night because it is too dark for diving right now. Especially in waters that are going to have a shark and potentially more poison puffers. So let's drop our goodies off here. If I can remember where all this stuff goes, it's been a little while for some things like um, explosive goo. And uh, that should almost do it. I forgot we have those red flowers that are hiding in part of our inventory. Um, yeah, let's go snooze real quick. And uh, then do a little dive. All right, it is nice and bright out now. Let's grab a little bit of that food and uh, go ahead and uh, refill water while we're at it. And uh, let's see what we can uh, get out of this island here, because refilling our scrap is, as always, ow, high priority. Thought that we might be not having to deal with a shark because of an island that has. Oh, I I shouldn't have shot that first arrow. That was that was my mistake. Um. But yeah, since this island does apparently have poison puffers, I was hoping that we would be able to just maybe dive in peace for a bit, but hey, that's all right. I should also probably go breathe. That was that was a risky shot, but I actually made it. There we are. All right, well, there's some more shark meat for us as well. Uh, yeah, I am just gonna grab everything. That'll respawn the shark faster, but I'm okay with that today. If we get another one to harvest, honestly, we could use it for the food supply right now. I've not been doing a great job at refilling some of our food supplies. Um, yeah, this looks like actually a pretty good reef to harvest around this place. Um, and, uh, we're going to kind of grab as much supplies as we can. Um, I may need to go quickly make myself some new flippers or a breathing tube just to make it easier, but we'll see. Cause yeah, some of this is a bit deep, um, but we'll make do. But yeah, I think as far as some of our expansions today, um, I want to expand a little bit of our, like, growing capabilities, um, and, uh, I might, like, move our trees around a bit, um, although I may leave the trees that we have on the raft where they are, um, because I think that I'm gonna start, uh, swapping our planters to some extent with the, um, advanced crop plots, uh, that we did discover research, um, in the last episode or two. I honestly don't remember exactly when that was. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get some of those down and I I think that we're gonna sort of utilize the kind of awkward hallway that is um, uh, right now going in the lower part of the walls on our raft. Um, it's just not a usable space at the moment, and so we're gonna find a way to kind of take advantage of that, at least in the bulk of our raft. 
um, to also interact with some of the food area. So I'm excited to show you my, my plans there. Um, so that's definitely one thing that we might get done. And then we might start playing around with the paint, uh, as I had mentioned. I think at the very least today, I would like to make the, um, I think it's the paint mill is the, the actual, uh, little device that lets us, um, start painting things on our raft, um, or generate the paint to paint things on our raft. I guess the paint brush is actually what lets us paint. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we'll start experimenting with some of that stuff today and we will see what else we get to, um, uh, along the way. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that we got to do something fun like this as well and check out kind of one of the, um, sort of, oh, that is a poison puffer. Uh, check out one of the kind of rare little islands like this, the, uh, the help island, because I do, I believe this is our first special island. Um, oh, I missed. I'll have to see if I can go find that arrow. Not a big deal if I can't. We've got plenty of extras. Although I think that arrows sometimes just like fall through the seafloor. Um, I've definitely experienced that happening in the past. So maybe we just don't worry about it. Uh, there we go. Let's just spend our diving time actually gathering this stuff since our breath does not last forever. Ooh. It's poor Rue here. Um, again, I'm probably butchering even his name, so I'm, I'm you know, I feel bad that I'm even <laughs> messing up the main character, or not necessarily the main character, but my playable character's name. Uh, even he's, uh, he's, he's struggling here with how I'm playing, but, um, yeah, well, uh, I think we're most of the way around the this island here. I guess I haven't been doing a great job of checking the edges for uh, metal ore the whole time, but this place does have at least a lot of scrap. We've already at least got a full stack of scrap, um, which for, you know, uh, <laughs> we'll burn through it quickly. Um, but at least for just checking out one uh, one little island, that is not bad at all. And it's nice that we're able to get some of the silver algae. That is not a super common find, so we're at least getting a couple pieces of it. Like that one right there. So yeah, I think that's two or three silver algae that this place has, so not too bad. Yeah, kind of a nice, nice little way to kick things off today. But yeah, I, I don't exactly remember how many of these um, special islands there are. They're kind of like the uh, the unique design um, that are. Uh, like rare to come across. Um, I, I don't actually remember if I, I, I may have lost my train of thought as I was starting to describe it earlier. So um, yeah, like the, um, the islands are not like randomly generated terrain or anything in Raft. I, I think I described that um, as we were like beginning the series, but um, there, there's a few set designs of islands, but it is random as far as which island that you might come across at any given time. Um, yeah, and some are more, like, there's a, a pool of common, like, small islands, of, of large islands, and then there's obviously your main quest islands that you have to, like, have in your tracker, um, or in your, like, radio equipment, and then there are some of these, like, uh, rare islands, uh, like the one we're at, and so you can get some special stuff, like we got our, um, our captain's hat here. Uh, and, and some of those things you can only find at, uh, at these rare islands. And I, I think for the most part, uh, the stuff you can only get at the islands uh, are things like hats. 
Um, so the only one that I've uh, come across, uh, like in my previous uh, raft, like early access save, um, I think in that playthrough that I had done uh, back when we were playing this on Twitch, um, was uh, I think that I had come across like the plane crash island, where similar where we've got like a boat wreck here. Uh, there's like a plane that crashes on one of the islands and we get a uh, I believe like a captain's hat uh, Or not a captain's hat like a um, like an aviation cap um, We got the captain's hat here, uh, but yeah, you get like a like an old-school aviation hat if I remember right uh, in that island that's kind of chilling in that crashed plane um, So yeah, I think it's just kind of some some fun cosmetics for the most part um, yeah, I see our sharks respawning here. I would like to actually deal with it so I'm not caught by surprise. Yeah, sniped. Oh, jeez, what was that? That was some odd snapping behavior. It was like coming at me from the side. Alright, cooperate here with me, buddy. Let's just do this the standard way. No, don't, don't go dive. There we are. Alright, well more shark meat, that's good news. Alright, well, we're almost done. Uh digging all this stuff out and then we'll just get back to floating and getting some more renovations done and then I think that this will be our last um, at least dedicated uh, renovation episode for a while and I think next time we will get back to uh, some main quest things because um, I don't want to totally uh, <laughs> wear you guys out with just doing raft renovations um, and uh, make you think that we've abandoned the main storyline because um, I am excited to keep um, going on the main story as well. Keep getting some more tech, um, and, uh, being able to keep advancing, advancing some things on our raft. Um, and, uh, you know, we can only do that by continuing the main story. So I know we don't have a whole lot of main story left, and that's partially why I had been kind of slowing down because we had been starting to power through some islands. Um, and I did want to make sure that we uh, we took the time to actually uh, improve our raft because we had been neglecting it for a while. But we've uh, I think we finally kind of balanced that out now. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's weigh the anchor. I think we are good to head out of here. We are going to turn the engines on, but back up. And we will try to turn ourselves back in line with the wind without running into the island. Oh yeah, we, we got some distance now. So let's line up with the wind once again. That is about right. Pretty close at least. And we want to go that way. But we can just use our sail for now, not use a ton of fuel. And I think we should be pretty good. Alright, let's get some of our shark meat cooking. We'll put the rest of the stuff away and then um, see about uh, doing some of those renovation projects uh, that we were talking about. Um, let's see, I think we also need to put our silver algae in here. Um, oh yeah, we actually got a good amount of scrap. I am excited about that. Good, good, good. All right, so let's put some of these last materials in here. Oh, that is the most scrap that we've had at any given time, or at any one time for quite a while now. I just use it way too quickly. Um, 
Now, I don't think that this is something that exists, but boy would it be helpful if, like the recycler, we could have a machine that would be like a different kind of recycler and could just change, even if it was only certain types of materials, um, but change some materials into scrap for us. That would definitely be handy. Um, all right, so for tools, we don't usually carry our hook. We grab our hammer. We don't usually carry that, but we carry spear. Um, what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Our ah, shears, that's what I'm missing. And we don't need those. I think that is our normal set of tools. Uh, so let's go sleep through the night. Ooh, but let's try to get a seagull. Yeah! Gotta, gotta keep the food, keep the food rolling. It's the never-ending battle of survival games. All right, oh. You're, uh... Our oven is, or our, our grill is out of fuel. Um, okay. Let's see. We'll put those in here. And, uh, let's make... Uh, again, I know, I know I said we would get started after in the morning. Uh, but we're gonna make a quick lap and empty our nets because I don't want to be losing out on all this good stuff that's floating by. Um, all right, luckily this side all seems to be empty. I don't think that these really get used all that much because I think that um, there's some kind of a, a, a formula or something where the um, the debris trail that we're kind of sailing into generates um, if I remember this correctly, I could be totally wrong on this, but I think I vaguely remember reading something like this. Um, that the debris trail that we are, like, sailing into, uh, is, like, centered on, actually, like, the, the platform that our raft began with. Um, and I don't actually think that that's in the middle of our raft. Um, I have no idea where it actually is anymore, but I think it's somewhere more over here. And so that's why we get more stuff kind of on this edge of our raft. Um, and it doesn't often go all the way out to this edge. Um, anyway, that's just kind of a fun thing. I might go grab that, uh, that other raft's chest real quick. Um, we just need to drop some things off and oh my gosh we're just filling up our our inventory so much um it's a good problem but it is a problem um we can go use our recyclers though um and we're just not going to use that much plastic so i think we can kind of get rid of all of that uh we can get rid of that we can still so store the feathers and we can dump those veggies maybe this time in biofuel. So let's start with doing that. Oh, and then I need to go. I need to go get some food to actually eat. Um, but there we go. Refuel up the engines as well, because our biofuel makers had, um, had all made some biofuel for us. That's good news. Oh, good. We've got, got shark meat waiting for us. Let's uh, put a bit more on the grill. I don't know if that'll actually be able to cook without a full set of... Uh, a full set of wood in there, but that's okay. Alright, these are... These delays are the struggles of manning a raft uh, by one's self. Um, let's see here. Throw pretty much all of that down in our quick access. 
pick up all of this and dang it shark I just cleaned up that mess but yeah as you can see I've been taking uh, taking advantage of all of our recyclers up here now and it is definitely nice that like right now when I've got a ton of material that needs to be recycled I can just uh, keep proceeding on to the next recycler and not have to just throw some of it into the next chest. Got another trash cube. Uh, we definitely need to find another uh, outpost to stop at sometime soon because our trash cube count is getting pretty high. As you can see in here. Um, oh, I do actually have another charged up battery. That is good to see. Um, so I think that one is dead. So we can just... Uh, oops, we'll put that one on there and I'll go bring this other one to the charger. Uh, very, very good. Alright, let's get our tools back out now. And actually... We should be finally set. Um, I guess I should make sure we're not like imminently running into an island. We are not. Um, so let's go get things started. You know, now that we're like halfway through our episode or so. Um, there we go. Battery on the charger. Feels good. Okay. So. Um, I think we're gonna maybe start on the sides, and I think that we're gonna we're gonna do our um, uh, our project um, brain work with me here. Um, our planting project first. Um, sorry, it's probably hard to hear me because we've got clanging and banging above us. Um, so we need uh, to do some growing projects and that's going to involve making some electric purifiers um, and some sprinklers and I'm going to use a decent amount of our titanium here um, especially if sprinklers take it which thankfully they don't that is good um, alright, so let's start with our purifiers. Um, uh, so we ultimately, I want to make starting four purifiers, uh, to start with. Um, and we've already got one made, so that's the good news. Uh, each one needs five scrap, so I just need 15 of this scrap. Uh, each needs 20 plastic, so I can get rid of a bunch of my plastic. And a circuit board. I've got a circuit board somewhere, so there's one, so I just need two circuit boards. Uh, and they each need five more plastic. Um, a vine goo. And some copper, so I can go craft, craft. And then come back and find the water purifier and go craft, craft, craft. Now I have four water purifiers. And I'm also going to need four sprinklers. So let's get the sprinklers out. Um, sprinklers are down here. Now I don't, I, I, I just looked, I don't think I have any sprinklers. It does not look like it. Do I have them in here? Nope, good. So that would be the wrong spot for him. Uh, so, I said four sprinklers. So that's gonna be... 48 plastic. I need eight scrap. Uh, eight bolts. And then... Four circuit boards. Uh, da, 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 da. 
and we'll just go in here. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So. Um, oh, and then I'm just gonna grab... Uh, I don't actually remember how much I need, but we're gonna grab some scrap. Um, I'm just gonna grab two stacks of it, because I don't know how much it is. Uh, we're gonna need... some... stuff for replacement walls. I also totally forgot we stopped to grab this. Um, some stuff for replacement walls. Um, and flooring. And, uh, then for water pipes. All right. Go uh, yank the anchor back up so we can be on the move and collecting resources again. Uh, that was a bit of a waste of time. Uh, where we could have been grabbing a bunch of things. Uh, so the only disadvantage to the the uh, kind of layout of things that I'm about to go with is that sign has to go and that lamp has to go. And I like where those are. But we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so we need to bust down these walls. Um... I don't really want our animals too nearby right now. And these doors are going away. And we're basically swapping those out, but we're going to do it in a minute. So we're going to get rid of these. And that is where our water purifiers are going to go. Now, I would prefer just to have one, um, but due to space constraints, we kind of just have to deal with two. Um, and... There we go. We're going to put that in here so these hoses can still get to water, but we can kind of walk in and check on things. Um, and we're going to put a fence so we don't fall in the water but we can still access like the battery port um now we're gonna put doors in um i need nails so we'll craft one set for now Yes, yeah, so we can come in here and we can add batteries to those. Um, we're just doing two for symmetry because it would really bother me if we had one door and then one wall. Um, and then we've got stuff back here. Okay, so we're going to put a pipe and a pipe. A pipe and a pipe. And then we're going to have a secret sprinkler right here and right here. Now it's not going to be entirely secret cuz like we could just put a full blown wall there, but we're going to put a window. And then we're going to attack this seagull. Um hello? Hello? Can I pick it up? There we go. And then we're going to get rid of that nest because it's going to be in the way. All right, so just to try to figure this out real quick. I mean, we can still put a sign like right there. It's not quite right. Also, oh, can I not do multiple? Whoa, 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 what's what's going on? Panic, no, stop, return. Um, Can I not like, oh, there we go. I like how you guys were calling this the captain's quarters instead of the bedroom. That's so much better. Um, so we're going to do that. And then this lantern placement is tricky. Like, I wish I could put it on that. Uh, ooh, what if I just put a post here after making more nails? If I put that down. Then, aha! Then I can 
have the lantern here still. Okay, that is better. Um, let's go ahead and sleep so we've got our light. Ugh, I had to do some real life hydration there. Okay. Well, let's get our in-game hydration done too. And a uh, little bit more hunting. Oh boy, that one went flying. Uh, yeah, let's get our get our continued survival needs taken care of real quick. Um, shoot, those need more planks. Um, let's leave a handful of those planks here, um, and then we can uh, we'll just come get some more because we've actually got a bunch of planks right now. I don't need the feathers, but I do need a new spear. Okay. Now I can grab the shark meat. And we can start cooking up some of that. Excellent. So. This is where we left off now. Um, we've got our sprinkler. We can come in here, and it's got a, um, uh, a water source. Um, so that's great. What does that get us? So, essentially, um, now I could extend this even more if I actually brought the sprinkler outside. Um, but these six tiles right here, um, can get watered by the sprinkler. Um... And so, we can get a little bit better than that, because, like, you don't have to be entirely within the tile in order to get, um, the benefit of the water. So, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of play with that. Um, to really expand how much benefit we get. Whoa, there's a big island. Uh, do we want to stop there? To literally just do the trading post? We're, we're busy right now. We'll, we'll find another one. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna maximize the amount of space that we can, um, uh, take advantage of the kind of sprinkler system. Uh, so, we need to start making some advanced crop plots, and I don't think I've done any so far? Is that right? It's kind of looking like it. Um, at least that we have available. Um, I, we, we did put a few of the advanced, uh, small crop plots in our apiary. Um, but, we need to make... Oh, that takes so many nails, uh, but we want to make some, uh, some large ones for trees. And we are going to make more small ones as well. We are going to, this is going to take a lot of nails, and that does concern me a bit. But we'll do what we can. Um, so we may not get all the planters in today, but I'll at least try to get one full one of these in, and then, uh, right, um, and then I can kind of show you, uh, how it's gonna work, uh, I'll be able to show you how it works with that. And after that, we will, uh, we'll gradually expand this to all the other ones. So, um, obviously, like, we could have this, like, centered right here and do, like, a one, two, three kind of row. However, if, so wait, what's, what's the middle of this? There's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's, like, seven planks on this door. So we want to get this lined up right about there-ish. We're going to have another one of these. No, that's not like I'm going to be very, very picky about this. All 
Right about there-ish. Right about there-ish. Okay. So, going back to what I was saying earlier, we have one, two, three wide, but we're extending this quite a bit, like another half a block in each direction. Because this, this planter is still half within this block, it'll get the water from this sprinkler. So we're able to kind of stretch that out a bit. Um, and we're going to use that strategy elsewhere um, to further expand our coverage. Um, and uh, it will be a nice way to just kind of add some good green space. Now I'm trying to remember, though, how all I had wanted to lay this out. So I may have to go reference my notes real quick. Okay. Um, I am back. Uh, so the uh, the rest of what we're going to do kind of in each of these sections um, so that we, we've got up against the wall what we want. Um, we're going to make actually two more small crop plots and then we're going to have a bunch of sections of trees. And I need to go get more supplies to make that happen. And again, whenever I was like designing this in more of a bit of a, or kind of thinking through this design in a bit more of a creative mode, uh, it's obviously a lot cheaper to just like, you know, throw stuff together because you're not actually paying the material costs. Uh, the nails, given like, you know, we just had a ton of scrap and now we've like wiped over half of it out. Um, okay, what happened to my bolt? Did I not actually pick? Oh, I, I picked it up and then I put it back away. I was trying to sort and I put the quick replace. Um, okay, one, two of those. Okay. No, I needed three though. Um... All right. And three. Okay. So we're going to do three tree crop plots and uh, and two more of the um, small crop plots. So how I want to have this, like, so we got like a little bit of plants growing up against the wall. And then I want us to have like a little bit of a walkway and then another set of plants. So... We need these to be um, a decent amount in this block, but we can kind of have them straddling the line of these two, um, and it will still work just fine. So if we do something kind of like that. I think we can push it out farther. Uh oh. Uh oh, we're thirsty. Let's, uh, let's fix that problem. Alright. Let's see, is that about. I think I wanted to go just a touch farther than that. Okay, that might be a little farther than I had originally intended, but I kind of like having a nice walkway. So this would be our walkway amount of space. I'm going to go ahead and move this next as well. Um, this would be our amount of walkway space. Um, and then we're going to just keep putting some planters. Um, in, in between. So we want to kind of center in a regular planter as like a buffer. And then we're going to do another 
tree planter. And sorry for uh, a random PC notification on my end. I always hate whenever those make it into other people's videos because it makes me jump and panic. But that was on my end, not on yours, if you're like, what's notifying? Um, all right, so there is that small crop plot, and then one more big one. Okay, so, if we did this right, again, we have our sprinkler there. That, that, and that are all plots, and so here. The, um, this is the most questionable crop plot, and the, the one on the opposite end, of whether or not it will trigger watering. And, uh, in a little bit, these ones too. If they're too far, uh, forward, they may or may not trigger the sprinkler. Um, dang it, shark. Um, so, this is where we kind of go get some seeds and test the placement. Um, so, we can get some, uh, tree seeds and uh, throw a battery in both our water pump and our sprinkler. And if once we throw the seeds in and this has water in it, uh, if it does indeed trigger the sprinkler and all of these get watered, then we're all set. Um, the one thing to note about the crops that are going to be in here is that the seagulls will go for them right now. Um, so. Uh, we're gonna have to keep an eye on them, slash, uh, maybe make some scarecrows. Um, the scarecrows are not a permanent solution, but they will help. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of, this will be kind of the, the, the vision that we're going for, is that each of these sprinkler heads that we place, we can get like a nice little set of trees, and then be able to grow a bunch of stuff. And we can do that in front of each of these little windows. And then right now, wherever you see like a door right next to the stairs, um, all of those uh, we will be swapping into the windows that will have a sprinkler coming out. So at the very least, we'll have like six of these kind of bordering these edges of the raft. Um, it may mean that we have to move our giant rhino shark, but that's okay. Uh, the one spot where I don't know if this will work, um, or just make sense is right back here. Uh, but maybe we just do something slightly different. Like, maybe we just do crop plots and crop plots and, uh, not the trees or something like that. But I think this will be a good way to add a bunch of green space to the raft, um, that we can even harvest and it will get rewatered automatically. Um... Unlike what we've got, like, right here, I've literally just, I don't even harvest these, um, because it does require manual watering. Um, the grass here in the middle, at least, like, it does seem to do a decent job of regrowing just every time it rains. Um, so we might just try to keep expanding our kind of grassy fields, and then, um, we've talked about a little bit how the animals don't seem to actually wander over to it, and <laughs> one of you guys was talking about how, um... You know, our animals are too domesticated and they're, um, you know, they're, they're used to their captivity and they almost don't know how to deal with their freedom. Um, and so we're going to have to kind of pen them in around the grass and I, I do think that that's the case. So, uh, we might end up, whether or not we keep this grass in the middle, but we may end up making somewhat of just a grassy area that we have just, uh, regrown by rain because... I think it's just going to be tricky to have it sprinkler powered and look good. Um, and uh, and then we might just kind of pen the animals in that larger area. But we could still even do kind of what we're doing with our current trees. Um, and uh, maybe even have those just kind of be like permanent trees. But it will be nice that uh, what I have like growing here on the side... Um, we can harvest these and uh, replant and it will grow back pretty easily. Um, so anyway, enough of me yakking. Let's go get some seeds and uh, see if this works. We also are going to need some batteries. Um, 
So let's look at that as well. Um, honestly, I'm just going to grab a bunch of plastic um, and look at that. We've actually put a decent dent in our plastic supply, uh, which I am actually glad we have done. Uh, so for right now, I'm just going to make two batteries, I think, uh, to power the one set of, um, uh, or the one pairing of sprinkler and pump that we have ready, um, even though we do have another sprinkler and pump, uh, set up. It just doesn't have anything to water at the moment. Uh, seeds. Um... I really like birch and pine trees, but I would like to eventually kind of make this area somewhat symmetrical. Um, and we don't have enough to make nearly all of them birch and pine cone, uh, just because there's so... We have so few of those seeds. So let's maybe do like a mango tree flanked by a couple of pine trees. And... Maybe we grow just like still a bunch of potatoes or something. Um, I know we're going to need a bunch of flowers, but since I don't have a, um, uh, uh, yep, uh, scarecrow. That's the word I'm looking for. Since we don't have a scarecrow yet, um, I don't want the, um, the seagulls to just have their way with the flower seeds that I have and end up wasting all of them. So, um, so there we go. I've got the water pump working on this side and we kind of just have to hop up on these. We can plop the battery right there. And as soon as the water propagates through, we should at the very least, this tree should trigger the sprinkler and get watered. And hopefully our pine trees on the end should do the same. And they do! That is definitely a watered tree. So those will start growing here. And that is great news. Um, and then if we head into our garden... Um, let's... Uh, let's grab... We wanted to get a mix of potatoes and beets. Let's do it. Just gonna grab them all. So if we do like I'm literally gonna alternate. Alright, so that did trigger, that's good. Alright, that, I mean, it seems like all of this is going to work, so the, all of the ones that were more questionable and farther away, all of that got watered. So this is weird to me, watching my, like, hot bar. I have, like, this beat selected, but it's pulling from a different hot bar section. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. It's just kind of strange. Excellent. All right. Well, each of these seems like it is triggering. Uh, which is what we need. And I am out of food right now. I'm just going to munch on a raw potato real quick so I'm not moving so painfully slow. Come on. There we go. Um, let's do that and grab some... Grab some drumsticks, and, uh, there we are. Excellent. So yeah, all of this stuff is gonna grow up, and it looks really nice, and our crazy goat is already climbing on everything. So, what do you think you're doing, Mary Bell? Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is kind of what I'm thinking as far as adding a little bit of greenery to our raft. So we're gonna kind of copy this, um... The same planter structure over here, mirror that on the opposite side, and probably also put that um, right here in sort of the front section of the raft as well. Um, but we need to, like, bolster our biofuel production. Uh, that's what I'm trying to think of. And uh, this will be a good way to do so. Um, and, uh, yeah. 
that um, just about kind of covers what I was thinking there. I think we're already getting a seagull attacking our crops, though. I think that's the noise I hear out here. Um, oh, I'm not starving. I'm thirsty. Uh, so yeah, we are gonna most certainly need to get, yeah, there's a missing, uh, looks like a missing potato already. Um, so we're definitely gonna need some scarecrows and, oh no, we're about to crash. Um, yeah, let's just steer around this real quick. I think we should be all good now. Okay. Yeah, if that had been a big island, I would have had us go ahead and stop now and use our, uh, some of our trade tokens. Um, because we do have quite a few. Uh, do we have any honey? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's top off, especially that one. Excellent. Um, cool. And yeah, so that's all, that's all pretty good. So, um, some of this did take a bit longer, especially because I did, um, you know, go ahead and do some of that island exploration. Um, so we won't really have time to do painting today. Um, but let's at least see if we can get the little like paint tumbler thing at least crafted and see kind of what that process is going to look like. Um, cause I do at least want to know kind of what we're dealing with. Um, I feel like that would be like a decoration kind of thing, but maybe it isn't. Um, we should also see what scarecrows are going to take. Uh, nails, let's just grab a couple planks. Um, so this, the, the seagulls will like damage scarecrows, um, over time. Um, but let's see if we just like, if we put this guy right here, hopefully that will help and we won't have too many instances of, uh, seagulls damaging our, our crops. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is, um, that will end up really being our plan is, is making sure we have some scarecrows and maybe even we'll put, um, a few scarecrows by each, uh, just because they, um, they do gradually break over time. And that way, if one breaks down, it's not just immediately getting, uh, immediately getting destroyed. So, yeah, there's that. Now, where is that darn paint stuff? Oh, yeah, I think, is the seagull attacking it now? I heard a seagull squawk. Unless it's going after stuff in here, which would be problematic. I know it did once. I've also accidentally picked things in here, but anyway. Uh, da -da 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 -da. where is... Where's the paint things? Ah, painting! There we go, paint mill! We actually have enough on us right now. Uh, and almost even enough feathers. Got to imagine we do have enough feathers. Um, I would have even thought even in the nests that were out here. Um... There we go. Paint brush. Okay. So, I've got a paint mill. And yes, okay, so the paint mill has to have water access. Ah, yeah, so... Yeah, he attacks the, uh, the scarecrow instead of crops, but we can always just come and attack just like we do whenever they are on, um... the good old, uh... nests. Um... So anyway, uh, yes, paint mill. We need to have some water access, and honestly, just doing it right here next to the anchor may not be a bad idea. So if we throw a paint mill down, um, 
we need to put some new railings up. Alright, so I can't put a railing there. Let's just... Am I out of, what am I out of? I'm out of wood! Oh no! Uh, let's just put a railing all the way around. All the way around the mill. Yeah, cause I, I don't trust you. You animals. Um, okay. So, I... Can I access the mill, though? Ah, here we go. Maybe. Uh... With paintbrush. Ah, there we go. Maybe. Okay, so yeah, so you can pick for colors. So, if I were going to paint things like kind of a teal... Um, so it's got like the little paints back here. Maybe I do need direct access. What happens if I don't have anything in my hand? Hmm, okay. Let's go get a handful of flowers. Just gonna get like five of each flower. And see what happens. So, if I just put a bunch of blue... Okay. So then that just starts going. Ah, and then I've got some blue paint. And I can only do one color at a time. Okay. At least that's what appears to be happening. Uh, let's, let's go get some daylight, and then we'll finish figuring this out before we wrap up. Okay. Um, ooh, any kind of fun island over there? I don't think so. Alright. Um, alright, so it's done. Pick up blue paint. Excellent. Okay, so each... Ah, oh, perfect. Um, so each flower gave like 18 paint. So if I put like a yellow flower, a red flower, Okay, and so these are probably just like gradually filling up and then that takes some time. So like I've got 90 blue paint in my hand, so it's saying, okay, you've chosen this color, you've got the blue paint necessary, but you don't have the other colors necessary. That makes some sense. Now if I put this back here, I am guessing if I crouch, I can still grab these things. Uh, we're going to at least give that a shot. Um, otherwise we might have to build ourselves like a little shack around this. But again, this is not the anchor's permanent home. Uh, and we can make ourselves a little, uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, we can pick all that up. Cool. Well, that's fun. Um, is there anything else we haven't made any paint of? Yeah, so... What did I have? Oh yeah, so I had like yellow. So yeah, now I have like yellow and blue, but I don't have the black, otherwise I'd be able to use it. Excellent. So it does seem like we'll be able to get, oh, you're trying to get clever and fall out of there. That's not great. Um, cool. 
Well, maybe we'll end up making some more paint mills then. We could have a little uh, paint mill room. Maybe one of our towers will just make like a bunch of these and um, have a little, uh, a nice little hole in the ground. Um, and uh, that is nifty. Oh no, my inventory. Um, nice. Well, that is, it took me a second to figure out, but um, that is not too bad. Um, cool. Uh, yeah, I think I'll keep making the rest of like those like five each into, uh, into some paint. There we go. And, uh, from there, we'll... Oh gosh, I just have planks everywhere. Uh, yeah, from there, maybe next time we'll actually do some painting. I think that could be pretty good. Let me go grab those paints before they actually despawn. Um, nice. Um, let's see. There's some more... Cool. Well, I'll keep uh, milling up some paint. That is that is good to know. Um, but yeah, I so I think that next time we will actually try to head to our next destination. Um, so we're gonna head to Temperance, uh, 6424. I'll make sure once again that that is indeed plugged into our. Oh, we're gonna run into another little raft. Um, 6424. It is plugged in. Um, we're we're hungry. Uh, here, we'll even, we're gonna turn that way, we're gonna turn on the engine. And we're headed right for it. Right there. So there we go, we are headed for the main quest. You guys see it here right now, except we're gonna hit that raft and that's gonna cause issues. Um, so yeah, next time. Back to some main quest stuff, and uh, while while we are on the way, um, maybe we'll do a little bit of painting or something. Um, now, if I do end up wanting to play a bit of Raft or something between episodes, um, I will <laughs> I might deviate us from that main course and uh, try to gather some more resources and stuff and. Um, basically try to get things to replicate our, um, uh, our planters, um, here at all of the, um, the places that we discussed, uh, so that we, um, can continue both adding more gardens, just adding more green space, because I think that that'll just help liven up the raft a bit. Um, so I will keep working on that a bit, I think, and, uh, I'll, I'll try to keep kind of milling up some of the paint here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that otherwise that should do it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate your support. Um, you know, this is something, that, like, I love playing these games, and I'd be doing it anyway, but it makes it so much more fun to share the experience with all of you guys, so... Um, anyway, that, uh, that being said, if you guys did enjoy the episode as well, um, be sure that you guys leave a like. It definitely helps me out and helps the, uh, series to get shared with more and more people. Um, and, uh, otherwise make sure that you all are subscribed so that you can be notified when the next episode drops and we, uh, make our way to Temperance and continue on with the main Raft story. Um, otherwise, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon.